Hello everyone, today I will show you how to replace your character and animations with the help of Mixamo. Basically we go from this to that. So this is our starting scene. You can see we can move, we can rotate uh, and for character we are using a simple capsule and a cube. So our aim is to replace this capsule with a humanoid character for Mixamo and we are also going to use animations from Mixamo so first let's go to Mixamo and Mixamo has uh, you can see two tabs here first we need a character right so Mixamo has a lot of characters uh, you can use any of them in my case I'm going to use this one then download settings go to fbx for unity and we are going to download at as tpos okay so now we are going to need two animations one for idle and one for run so go to animation tab and type idle yeah, let's let's take this one okay so these are uh, how our animation look it looks good okay so now go to fbx for unity and skin without this skin that because we already downloaded downloaded as typos which one had a skin and we are going to use that one now let's download now we are going to need one more I'll run use this one uh, and these settings check in place so uh, yes looks good so download unity without a skin and yep now copy these files and place it and character folder now if any of you who doesn't know how you can make a simple joystick system in unity uh, i have a video on it actually i'm i'm using that system you should see a video link on top of the screen or i will add the link on video description uh, so you should follow that tutorial to make a simple moving system okay now first uh, this is our typos right we're going to we don't want visibility and visibility import we don't want cameras and lights and going to select the humanoid and for animations we are not going to use any for materials and texture go to extract materials then extract textures uh, going to diffuse to our albedo now click the character and the first uh, let's assign it to first so this is how our characters look if we play it right now nothing will happen that's because uh, you can see here anim a animator co uh, component needs a controller so let's create a controller first uh, go to create animator controller and let's call it character double click 
first we need uh, the idle one so check uh, no lights and cameras then going to rig humanoid and for animations this time we are going to import animations uh, we want our idol to loop okay so and apply see if it works ah, it works now go to your animator tab and uh, this is an important thing let's consider for a second for some reason you want to change your animations okay this one you can't do this that because you can see idle read only you don't have uh, the permission for it for editing this animations you need to duplicate it first then double click now you can change okay so you have to duplicate it okay now drag and drop here if we play our game right now we should see our idol is playing oh first we need to assign our controller here assign it here and play yeah our idol is working now we need to implement the run animation right so go to run and change cameras and lights then rig go to humanoid animations go to pose let's see if it works yeah it's working perfectly now we are going to duplicate it and here and drag it drop on the animator controller now you want to go from idle to run right so we need a parameter let's call it run and we took a boolean variable okay to the transition and remove we don't need exit time give a condition if run is true we're going to run animations then from run if run is false we are coming back to idle exit time and this one so you can see how how you can change them also you need like transition duration to make it smoother to go from one animation clip to another but let's keep it to zero uh, now uh, we have to set our run variable from the script right so in my previous tutorial on joystick i already implemented you just need to call your animator player animator and set the bool to you know if you if you run is true then true and run is false then false yeah so these two lines of code should work uh, lesson variable reference animator controller okay the animator controller yep we need to assign this one to here animator controller now if we play it it should work yeah now we are running you see we are running and idle so our animation is working so this is for today guys if you ha have any question or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below and remember to like this video uh, subscribe to the channel thank you for watching